All right, y'all, so in my last Backyard Basketball 2004 video, we destroyed a world with Dmitry Petrovich, shattering every scoring record in the book. And that video, as I said a couple times in that video, is why I don't play Backyard Basketball 2004 on this channel in a nutshell. At least why I don't play it in terms of a full-blown season format, you know, building a team, playing the entire season all the way through. If there is overwhelming fan demand, if these videos do super well and people are just begging me, just saying, Grant, please, please, please play a full season. I will watch it no matter what. Then maybe I'll do it. But for the time being, I just don't see a reason to play a full season of this game. Edit, you know, 20 or however many episodes if every game is going to go the same way, which is us, you know, beating the CPU by 40 or 50 points easily. But there is one way to still make the game interesting and more entertaining. Not any less easier, but still more entertaining. So if you go to the goodies section, you have all these unlockables. These first three arenas are all unlockable through the season. This secret player is actually commentator Barry DJ, and he's like maxed out at everything, I'm pretty sure. Um, you have to have one season player reach like every single milestone, and I haven't done that on this computer. I've done it before, so that's how I know that he is the unlockable player. I just haven't had a season player win like every single milestone. It's kind of difficult to do, actually, but that's Barry DJ. But the other unlockables are uh, regarding power-ups and i forget how you get these but one is continuous hot hands so that's the hot hands power up where you make you know w pretty much every single shot you take then there's continuous super speed but the one i'm interested in today is continuous power-ups and that is exactly how it sounds the way you get power-ups in this game is they uh show up a half court and one of your players has to run through the box and continuous power-ups is exactly as it sounds the power-ups show up at half court constantly no matter what every single possession there is a new power-up and like i said it doesn't make the game any harder but it does make the game way more entertaining so we're going to activate that the way you do that is you type fun in during a single player game so we're going to go back to a pickup game and get this done so uh just as with the last video hard difficulty three minute quarters fatigue power-ups fouls and out of bounds are all on and we're actually going to be the away team in this video just because in basketball in this game just like in the nba the home teams wear the white jerseys and the away teams wear the multicolored jerseys so we're going to be the mad handlers visiting the humongous melon heads and we're going to play at one of the unlockable courts we're going to play at bling bling brothers circus this one's really fun to play at probably the best unlockable stadium and this time i actually am going to pick all of my favorite players so we're going to pick dirk the legend then we gotta get tim duncan of course best defender in the game then we get t-mac they pick stephanie morgan the cpu always picks some really interesting players uh after that really doesn't matter to me so we'll hit accept we'll get into this game and see there you go all i did was type in fun and there's already a more juice power up so i got a fierce starting lineup for sure Tim Duncan at center, then T-Mac and Ray Allen backing him up. Oh, the way Dirk should be on the court. Why isn't Dirk? No, no, no disrespect to Ray Allen, but uh, we're going to pick Dirk to be on the court. See, already a more juice power up. Easy three. And someone ran through the uh, <laughs> the hot hands power up. Didn't even see it. Tim Duncan pulling up from three. Easy. And there's already dunk power up. Come on, Tim Duncan's going to get this one. Why didn't that... Oh, the Melonheads got it. I thought I got the dunk power up. Turns out I didn't get it. But Tim Duncan is still good on defense. We're already up 13-0. Ooh, Jocinda Smith gets taken down. 16-0 when less than a minute in. They can't even get the ball in range to do the dunk power up. Although you actually can do full court dunks in this game, by the way. It's super hilarious. They don't count as three-pointers, though. And you can't stack power-ups, as you can see, so even though we're all running through because both teams have power-ups active, you don't get the power-up if you already have a power-up. So unlike backyard baseball, you can't just stack them and go crazy. I want this hot hands to expire so I can get that dunk power-up. I'm going to hang out at half court. I didn't realize that that was the first time they even scored. Now we got the dunk power-up. Ray Allen taken off from behind the three-point line. <laughs> Slam dunk. Easy three. We're going even crazier than we did in the Dimitri game. Ooh, bad foul by Tim Duncan. Even with the ice cold power up, they can't stop Ray Allen from three. Man, that's a reference that just instantly dates this game. Rip that ball like a CD. Although I actually still do that because I still have a CD collection. So I still sometimes rip CDs to like my iTunes library and stuff like that. And 
Here's how you break the slow-mo power up. <laughs> Ray Allen from behind half court. So it turns out I also have Vince Carter on my team. I did not pick Vince Carter or Ray Allen. So we'll have Vince come into the game later. But I did pick Dirk, so we're going to get to see Dirk here. Ooh, and there's the ice cream truck power up. I'll show you guys what happens there. They just start dancing and they can't move. It is probably the most powerful power-up in the game, actually. Well, not really, but it completely freezes the defense. Like, imagine if that was a thing in backyard baseball, where if you turn on a power-up, like if you, if you put the ball in play, the defense just freezes. So even if you hit a ground ball for like 10 seconds, the CPU just can't move. That would be so overpowered. Easy. Ooh, T-Mac. Shoot, misses from three. <laughs> we get that, though. Everyone's falling down. When you have the super speed power back activated, you can literally just run through people. It doesn't count as a foul. Dirk with the SWAT. Who said Dirk can't play defense? I do not take Dirk Nowitzki slander, by the way. That's my boy. Here's Tim Duncan from three. Ooh, he actually missed that. We get the dunk power up, though. Thanks, T-Mac. Dirk pulling up from three. Dirk missed it. How? See, Tim Duncan will miss threes sometimes because, like, he's only 2 out of 10. But he'll still hit probably, like, why is Dirk missing threes? What the heck is going on? I meant to shoot a three. That turns into a, a dunk. That doesn't count as a three-pointer for some reason. Paul Pierce gets a dunk. Paul Pierce. They gave Paul Pierce the same dunk animation as uh, Vince Carter. So that's an Easter egg. Both uh, Vince Carter and Paul Pierce do 360 dunks, which is pretty cool. So they sort of got their own custom dunk animations. All right, now Dirk's making his threes. Ooh, Butterfingers. Ah! I think Butterfingers actually might be the most OP power-up. Because Hot Hands is kind of irrelevant because most players can still sink threes from, like, half court anyway. Let's see if Dirk makes this one. From, like, the opposite foul line. Dirk with another SWAT. Tim Duncan swatting that. Oh, man. Justin is just having a miserable time. Easy. See, th this does make the game more fun just because of the constant power-ups and how just ridiculous it all is. Yeah, now Dirk's heating up. Dirk's heating up now. He, I, I missed my first couple with him. Six seconds left. Going to give this to T-Mac. Another three-pointer. We're going to be up 72-18 to 18 at the end of the half. Oh, full court dunk by Stephanie Morgan. That's going to count. Wow, okay. So they end the uh, the first half with a bang, but we're up 72-20. Really fun game so far. So now we got Vince Carter in, so y'all can see a bit of him. And they have the Butterfingers power-up, which, which is, as I said, is totally OP. The Magnet power-up is also pretty OP. We haven't seen that one either, but that's an automatic steal. And I want that dunk power-up. Ooh, Vince Carter, 360 dunk. There's that custom dunk animation. Going to get another one from three-point land. 360 dunk from three-point land. And I will say, I do think actually that Barry DeJay's color commentary is the best of all the color commentators. Like, Sunny Day is doing her usual thing in this game. But of all the color commentators, I know a lot of people love Vinny the Gooch. Um, then you have Chuck Downfield in Backyard Football. I think uh, the guy in Backyard Soccer is Earl Gray, and then I forget the name of the dude in Backyard Hockey, but I do think that Barry DeJay in the Backyard Basketball Games is the best color commentator. He's just hilarious. Isn't it so weird that Jocinda's nickname is just MVP? Like, that's just such a lame nickname. Oh, my nickname's MVP, but you're not even the best player in the game, so, like, <laughs> just disrespecting Jocinda Smith. She's not bad. I mean, she's good at pretty much every single game, but, I mean, why is her nickname MVP? In your opinion, what's the weirdest backyard kid nickname? Not talking about, you know, any of the pros in any of the games, but of all the backyard kids, what do you think the weirdest um, nickname is? I don't think Jocindas is the weirdest, but it's definitely, like, the most annoying. Because, like, oh, MVP, I'm the best. But you're literally not the best. Even Pablo Sanchez isn't arrogant enough to have MVP as his nickname, you know what I mean? He's just a secret weapon, which is like way cooler, even though he's not a secret weapon because everyone knows how good Pablo is. Anyway, that, I'm just going off on a tangent. <laughs> Sorry, this game is just so repetitive that it's just like easy to commentate over and get lost on a tangent. Unlike, you know, backyard baseball or something. Dirk gonna go for a three point dunk. Almost at 100 points. 
Tim Duncan's gonna get another one. See, like, this is at least more entertaining, because it just... The constant action, you know, the ridiculous plays that are created by all the power-ups. So I would say that this is, like, definitely the most fun way to play the game. It really sort of just captures the spirit of fun more often. And like, yeah, it's really easy, but, you know... That's... It, it is a kid's sports game at the end of the day, but I would say that this is like the definitive way to play Backyard Basketball 2004 because even though it's very, very easy, it feels a bit less ridiculous, which is kind of ironic because it's just constant power-ups, but it feels more fun and more like a kid's game when you just have constant power-ups and constant dunks and just ridiculous stuff going on than just playing the game normally, but still being able to chuck up threes from half court and making them 90% of the time, you know what I mean? But yeah, imagine if like Butterfingers was in backyard baseball as well. Like, not only if they had the ice cream truck power-up, but if they had the uh, the Butterfingers one, where it's like, any time you hit the ball in play, and the opponent goes to it, and for like, 10 seconds, they just drop it every single time. There's already enough errors to begin with in um, backyard baseball as it is, but if there was a Butterfingers power- Why is Tim Duncan missing all these shots, dude? What the heck? He got like a 10 out of 10 inside shot. Also, yeah, th this game is way more biased towards outside shooting than inside shooting. Dirk just airballed a layup. How does that even happen? Only in this game do players miss from, like, five feet in front of the rim, but make half their threes. Alley-oop. I didn't even realize I had the alley-oop power, but Tim Duncan the Dirk alley-oop. Vince Carter pulling up off the inbound. Easy money. I will say it's kind of tough to say who the best pro in the game is because they're all very similar in a way uh you know like Yao Ming is in the game but Yao Ming can pull up from three and make you know over half his threes right even though he's a big man and then all Vince Carter just airball a three it'll happen sometimes but yeah aside from like the true big men like Shaq and Tim Duncan who do regularly miss their threes pretty much all the pros have like identical skill sets they're all fast so it's hard to say who the best is. I think the most well-rounded might be T-Mac, even though he's weak on defense. Yeah, the Butterfingers power-up is just too OP. Inbound to Vince Carter. All the way across the court. Yeah, as a kid, this was by far my favorite backyard sports game. And I would say, you know, if they balanced it more, made it way more difficult to shoot for both CPU and user, so that it was just more balanced in general, and if it was more difficult to, you know, just take the ball away constantly on defense, um, this probably would actually still be my favorite game. Just because of the nostalgia, and, you know, everything from the sounds to the color commentary and play-by-play. -play. Tim Duncan, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Dang, I wanted the alley-oop. Oh, we can get one more uh, ice cream truck power-up, though. Basically invalidated the alley-oop. It's hilarious. It's so overpowered, bro. Oh, yeah, look how slow they are. They can't handle Dirk. Pull up from the corner. Last shot right there. Ooh, ooh, can we get one more? Dang! All right, well, we win 144-51. to We don't quite get the 100-point lead blowout, but that was a really fun game, so y'all get to see constant power-up mode. It'd be very cool if this was a thing in the other backyard sports games. Tim Duncan with 30 points and 21 assists? What? What a stat line! Holy cow! Hold on a second, let's look at these stats. I didn't realize that Tim Duncan's stat line was that crazy. Hold on a second. Okay, so Dirk finished with 50 points. Holy cow, I didn't even feel like I was scoring that often with Dirk, but Dirk... With 50, Tim Duncan with 30, Vince Carter with 26, McGrady with 21, and Ray Allen with 17. Tim Duncan with 7 rebounds. Rebounds are very hard to come by in this game. That's another thing that would have to be kind of balanced is the rebounds. So Tim Duncan, though, finishes with 30 points, 21 assists, and 7 offensive rebounds. That's nuts. Duncan also had 5 blocks and 13 steals. Bro, that is gnarly. What a crazy stat line. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it for Backyard Basketball 2004 content on the channel for now. I have so much fun playing this game and so much nostalgia, but as y'all can see, there's just really not that much to do in a game that's this easy to play. Really no point in doing a full-blown season with a team. As I've said a few times now, if there is just overwhelming fan demand and fan reception, I'll consider it, but for the time being, these one-off videos are probably going to be it. So hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Backyard Sports content. I'm out.